Mike Tomlin is 24 and 6 all time against rookie quarterbacks. I would say most coaches probably have more wins than losses against rookie quarterbacks, but that's a pretty damn good record. 24 and 6 lifetime. Mm-hmm. And what a shock. They've had a great defense ever since Mike Tomlin has been there. And the better the defense, the easier it is to stymie a rookie quarterback. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, of course, the truth, right? I mean, you used to talk about Bill Belichick's record against rookie quarterbacks like that as well. I mean, I think that got worse over the last couple of years um, before he ultimately was no longer the New England pa- New England Patriots head coach. Easy for me to say. But I think. You know, like you said, I mean, the, the the Steelers have historically had very good defenses with Mike Tomlin. And when you can do things with coverages and disguises, and you also have edge rushers like a TJ Watt, you know, who can really disrupt things. And often when you look at rookie quarterbacks, they don't have the best offensive lines. And so because of those kinds of things, yeah, it makes you more, uh, as a rookie quarterback, it makes you more susceptible to being dominated, if you will, by a Steelers defense. And they, they do that to a lot of different teams. So, yeah, it's not the record is not a surprise to me, especially given the longevity that Tomlin's had as the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay, this is a fun little trivia exercise that I did not anticipate because I didn't look at the outline very carefully last no. night. And by the way, Tomlin did beat Justin Fields as a rookie with the Bears in 2021. The six quarterbacks to whom Mike Tomlin has lost when those guys were rookies. And the first two were 2023. We're going to start more recently and work backward. I remember last year. I remember last year because I'm accused of the Steelers being my second favorite team. They lost two. Do you want to make a guess before I tell you who they are? No, go ahead. Any idea? I I, I don't because I'm going to, I honest to goodness, like my brain's not there yet. So I I just, I have no idea. I can't even remember who the rookie quarterbacks were from last year, which is really embarrassing because they were. Yeah, that is pretty bad. You're not nearly, you're not nearly old enough to be forgetting such an obvious fact. They got manhandled by the Texans and CJ Stroud. Oh yeah. Like October ish. Cause I thought they were going to win and they were out physical. The, the Texans got, you know, lower and, pushed the Steelers around and just really embarrassed the Steelers. So C.J. Stroud is one. And I remember the okay. Thursday night game last year. George Pickens had a little bit of a meltdown. Deontay Johnson finally caught a touchdown pass. Wait, did oh. they? No, they beat Will Levis. They beat Will Levis. So they would have lost no. to Anthony Richardson. I was going to go this, Will uh, Levis. The second one is Dorian Thompson Robinson. Oh, see, oh, you don't remember the rookies last from last year. I, there you well, go. Well, because you triggered DTR me with George beat Pickens. The Steelers. Yes, yeah. because it was one of the it was one of the uh, few games that Thompson Robinson actually came in and he did what he needed to do, and then they replaced him with Joe Flacco. Um, I I remember that Thursday night game, but I'm I was thinking the Titans won, but they got down close to the goal line to either force overtime or win outright, and I think Levis either misfired or threw an interception. So yeah, they they beat Will Levis last year. 2016, 2016 is a little screwy because. He got two losses then to rookies. And it can't be both Goff and Wentz. It can't be Goff and Wentz because they wouldn't have played both teams that year because they're from different divisions in the NFC. So one of them's got to be the Rams then. One of them's got to be Wentz. The the Rams played the the Steelers in 2015 in St. Louis. And it sounded like, frankly, Atlanta did that day. Um, or Atlanta did on Sunday on that day in 2015 when the Steelers won that game. So it must be Carson Wentz, and it has been revealed here that it is Carson Wentz. So, yeah, that's one. Well, who the hell else would it have been? It couldn't have been Christian Hackenberg, could it? Uh, Do you have yeah, any I, thoughts on who it might I, be? Another rookie quarterback? The other quarterbacks were in 16, and I I don't know. I can't remember. But let's see it. Jacoby Brissett. I bet it was Jacoby Brissett. Was it Jacoby Brissett? No, it was Dak Survey Prescott says. of the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, well, there we go. I, I, eh. I mean, Dak Prescott has been around so long, I would have thought he was a rookie before 2016, but Fourth that's a good one. Pick. 2012. 2012, I remember mm. Washington came to town that year, but they beat RG3. Uh. Because they knew the right way to deal with RG3, hit him early, hit him often, hit him hard. They made the mistake of sending him out on a pass pattern, and he got blown up, sir, by the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm fairly confident Pittsburgh won that game, although Washington did go 10-6 and and make it to the playoffs that year. I'll just throw a dart and say it was Andrew Luck. 
and the yeah, Colts. Yeah, that's to what beat I would say. In also, 2012, are we right or are we wrong, Gary? Let's survey see. Survey says. says survey no, says Brandon, Brandon Wynn. The, the Cleveland How Browns. did you not know? How did you like, not know? My God, that's college. embarrassing. So Is what? It? what? I mean, you drunk on Sunday morning? Yeah, high probably. On Sunday morning? I was okay. probably hung over. I mean, I don't know. I was like 21 years old. What do you expect from me, man? I, yeah. There are, was I, I, I mean, was I hung over on Sunday morning in college. Yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> I, I look at it. I look at it this way. As a Browns fan, there are so few points of pride that you could have. How could you forget? How is it not tattooed on your arm that the Browns suck. rookie quarterbacks, two rookie quarterbacks, took down Mike Tomlin. And I'm going to go ahead and complete the trifecta because 2007, there weren't many rookie quarterbacks that stand out. I doubt Jamarcus Russell beat the Steelers in 2007. Let's go ahead and put Brady Quinn in there too. Brady Let's Quinn? say Brady Quinn pulled it off in 2007. Survey says, was it Brady Quinn in 2007? Was... That was the first rookie. Troy Smith. Oh, Troy Smith of the Baltimore never Ravens. Really that who, one. <laughs> who started for one year. Heisman Trophy mm. winner at Ohio State. And was going to start year Great. two. They did not want Joe Flacco to be thrown into the fray as a rookie. They didn't think their offensive line was good enough. But Troy Smith got tonsillitis in the preseason. Joe Flacco played. Played well enough that the Ravens decided the hell with it. We'll just go with Joe Flacco as a rookie. So Troy Smith, one of his few moments of glory. Beating. Yeah. Well, it is the Browns. What am I talking about? It is the Browns. The Browns what? are 3-0. and Against oh, Mike oh, Tomlin Jesus. because the Ravens oh, are the Browns. You're, you're... The Ravens <laughs> are the Browns. Right. Okay, the original to, Cleveland stop. Browns. Enough. I'm not enough, trying enough. to. I know it's going to yeah, be successful. Yeah. Well, the Browns is the Browns I'm, and the I'm, Browns I'm, I'm is in Baltimore. I'm channeling somebody else who probably wanted to drop an MF when she said this and then stopped herself. <laughs> yeah. And then... Uh, Man that's her favorite curse word but i'll i'll, I'll just move on and I, but before we do that i'll say this brandon Wheaton was probably older than me when he was a rookie so like that's also why i don't remember it you know if you're he's older than bo Nix, right as a rookie older quarterback than me when he was a rookie i think yeah, Wheaton was older saying. than me when he was a rookie talk about he was on aarp when he came into the league so like yeah that's probably why i also don't remember him being a rookie quarterback and beating the steelers you know, I'm 59, and I've never gotten anything from AARP. Maybe they just don't want me. I've never yeah, gotten well, a you thing. Don't live people are always like, the day I turned 50, I got an AARP thing. I've never gotten a damn thing from AARP. Hey, AARP, what? Are I'm you going to live enough? in a real town I'm, in order to, I'm to not, get stuff from AARP? I, 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 live, I live in Springfield. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.